Yes, some e-waste for you. Right where it comes. energy is too low. Welcome to the Surf Epilogue, where the horizon rests on the surfy goo. Awful. Watch your step around here. Shot through. The best stories are about heroes. This is such a story. The scrap keeps piling up.
Patrick one at Zemia. But hope isn't lost. Yet. Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. It's so vibrant out during daylight. Let's see.
The tribes need someone to unite them. Says the tribe Sifu sent them here to help defend against the rival tribe that's been terrorizing their village. Isn't sure how long the village will last if it continues. As if the plague ruining the land and destroying the crops wasn't enough to bring the village. That's what they call the blight that's been haunting the land since the old world ended in the apocalypse around here. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. Shine's happy that the Myriad can count on a friend as bright as you. Understands completely. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. They need your protection and help to restore their village. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. Hopes to see you again soon. The shadows are getting shorter by the moment. Has no doubt you've earned the trust and support of this village. Actions speak louder than words. You did good here. Is always willing to listen. You did good here. It's been a long night, but it's over soon. This here is the Sinky Dink, home of Gulp, at the very least. Let's see. So a 
Remembers you as a quiet kid. Grateful you got over that. Says you'll meet again. He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have something for him to drink. Guesses he does, but it's a long life in a wild world. Sometimes he's shaken, not stirred. Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and liking the flavor. Wonders if you could take the time to help a man slake his own thirst. You'd be doing him a liquid solid. You're a do-gooder, so you know you want to. Either way, he hopes you find a way to wet your whistle before the world comes to an awful dry end and leaves us all thirsting for more. Raun. Says life's like a mystery drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful. But either way, you can't stop drinking till you're dead. Raun. Sure, that's the point. But you can't stop trying new ones, or life gets dull. Yeah. Wants to raise a glass to you getting the world fixed up a bit. Respects how you always try to help, no matter that the world's fate is hard to swallow. Sees why you joined up with the Myriad. They like a peaceful drink, just like you. Something calm and soothing for your belly. But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one's even more intoxicating now, aged in truck tankers and all. Without a drink, and Radium Syrup especially, he can't move, much less think as the power of his mind is directly proportioned to the quantity of syrup he swigs. That's why he's called Gulp. The drink helps him forget the state the world is in, but it only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed, even if the sun goes up. Figures the real problem is finding something to drink. He wants you to know he has other interests, too. He's the Surfipelago's self-proclaimed ornithologist, for example. There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times. And, fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. They're better at floating than flapping, so you should be able to net a few without growing yourself a pair of wings. Got your sea legs already.
you can see so much farther in the light. So many critters make their home in the forest. Hey, there's some e-waste. 